Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump hits Rosie with nasty surprise for her hate rally at WH with Broadway stars. Rambling Rosie O'Donnell is at it again with her anti-Trump shenanigans, but this time Trump had a little bit of a surprise for her. It was reported that Rosie was going to Washington to protest with some of the cast from Broadway's musicals and they wanted to be so loud that the people in the White House couldn't sleep. Not only is that childish and somewhat funny, but the bigger joke ended up being on them. The protesters were singing songs and some were dressed up in funny costumes that made absolutely no sense. It sounds more like they were having a party than a protest, and if that's the case, then they may as well just have a real party and start pouring some drinks. Nevertheless, they persisted to protest Trump while he was in the White House. Oh wait, that's right. Trump wasn't actually there. Trump was in New Jersey at the time. These people can't even protest right. What a nasty little surprise that sure was. I bet him not being there surely put the shock value on the protest at an all-time low. They were literally protesting to no one. Trump wasn't even there. How funny is that? What a complete waste of time. Watch some video footage of the Rosie O'Donnell protest outside of the White House, while Trump was in New Jersey. This is one of the funniest Donald Trump videos you will see and he's not even there. The Daily Caller reported. Anti-Trump celebrity Rosie O'Donnell, along with a number of Broadway performers, protested President Donald Trump outside of the White House on Monday night. O'Donnell and a group of Broadway actors bust into Washington, D.C., from New York City to perform musical numbers, hoping they would be so loud that it would disrupt the president's sleep, but there was only one problem with their plan, President Trump was in New Jersey at the time of the protest, not the White House. O'Donnell and the performers sang for about 20 minutes, then left right afterward. Other anti-Trump speakers and people dancing around in odd shark and dinosaur costumes filled the rest of the time. The speakers recited stale and worn-out liberal narratives, accusing Trump of being a racist and of colluding with the Russians, and accusing Republicans of not wanting minorities to vote. This, of course, without presenting any evidence to back up their claims. There have been several protests outside the White House over the last three weeks. According to organizers, the protests will not stop until Trump is gone. The protest drew in a small crowd and the event dwindled to a few dozen after two hours. They really showed President Trump. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.